Indian mythology or more precisely Mahabharata that is the subject of my painting. In my childhood days when I started to scribble on papers there are certain impact of Ramayana and Mahabharata TV serials. So the outcome are mostly crowned kings also. I own my presence in Indian art collector as an artist. So I should first thank them for giving me the opportunity. Though in live exhibitions in galleries, the artists get the opportunity to interact with critics, visitors face to face, which is obviously very important. But often in this busy world, it's not possible for art lovers to attend the exhibitions every time. And of course, here is the benefit of online platform. The factors of time limitation and distance are just eliminated. Art lovers from any corner of this planet can see my works anytime. On the other hand, interested person can have the widest options and variety of artworks to make a choice. Even can get suggestions from the experts and curators. My paintings are about the characters of epic Mahabharata, the shades of their personalities which attracts me immensely. I try to put them in my painting. So naturally the figures come with certain colors. For, for example, in case of Karna, I made him in red color to emphasize his vigorous character, the color of morning sun. I love to have vibrant colors in my palette and apply them to emphasize the character and mood. In fact, my painting sometimes takes some extra long time in search of the appropriate color to establish the mood of the moment and character as exactly as possible. Mahabharata is not a mere religious book for me. The characters, even Krishna, was not described as a linear godlike person. In fact, they are made of soil of this country, this culture. Everyone has his or her own weakness and strength. They act according to situation. I feel strongly that the multi-shaded personality make them even contemporary, even relevant today. If we look at the character Draupadi, we will find an interesting fact that Draupadi was born to take the story to the conclusion, to establish win of goodness over evil power. And throughout the journey of life, Draupadi, though a princess, a queen, struggled the, and catalyzed the ultimate verdict. I try to depict the emotions and the turning points of the journey of a woman who never raised arm physically but made all the things happen which we call Mahabharata. Um, now I am looking forward to bring the series to a proper platform of showcasing.